The biggest obstacle that you'll run into when it comes to scheduling meetings with other people is to know whether or not they're available during that time. Now, if you're not connected to an Exchange server because, well, you can see I'm connected, but if you're not, then you won't be able to pull up other people's schedules to find out if they're busy or free, and then you play that tag game like, hey, here's a meeting, and they say, no, can't make it, and you're like, okay, when can you make it, and they propose new times. I mean, it gets kind of messy. The other option is, is that with a little help from your IT person, you can set up and use the free and busy feature that allows you to connect to another server, not the Exchange server, so with your IT dude's help, you can get the website address to that server so you can connect and publish your availability, like one month out, two months out of your schedule, to that server and be able to view other schedules as well to see if they're free or busy. And once you get that website address, then come up here on the Home tab, go to the Arrange group, and click on its expandable dialog box button. Calendar selected, that's where it took us. So we want to come down here to the Calendar Options and go to Free Busy Options. Now, because I'm connected to the Exchange server, it's going to bring up a window that you're not going to see when you're not connected. So let me click on it to show you. And if you're not connected, you're not going to see this window, but instead you'll see this window right here, the Free Busy option. And I brought this window up by clicking on Other Free Busy. But again, that's because I'm connected to the Exchange, so it brought up this window first. I had to click on that to bring up this window. So when you're not connected, you only get this window when you click on the button behind it. So it says free busy information is used by people sending meeting requests to determine when you are available. Go ahead and check publish at this location. Take the URL that the IT dude gave to you, put it in here, and then you get the option to publish two months of the calendar free busy information. When it publishes it, it's not going to take your appointments or meetings and give anybody the details of it. It just says it at this time where it says apple picking for you. For them, it's just going to say from one to two, Kurt's busy, and that's all it's going to show. So that way, he's busy, and then when they want to schedule something, they just look around for a time that's before or after it that I'm not busy. And then down below, update free busy information every 15 minutes. Go ahead and set the time. And then the search location, so when you want to check out other people that are on that same server, if they're free or busy, go ahead and get that information from your IT person, click OK. And then let me click Cancel, click Cancel, and then you'll be able to view whether or not they're free or busy when you schedule that meeting. So, for example, when I want to go ahead and schedule a meeting for Monday, the 27th, when I double-click on it, it's an all-day event, but let me go ahead and uncheck it so I can convert it into an appointment. And then I would type in the subject of it. Maybe it's footage review for a ghost hunting of all the film and footage we took when we hunted ghosts the past several weekends. In any case, I want to come up here and click on Invite Attendees, and then I can type in the email address or, you know, click on the To button. In any case, if I want to find out if they're free or busy, again, I can type in their email address or I can come up here in the Show Group and click on Scheduling Assistant. Now, we talked about this in an earlier training video, and so this is what it looks like when you're connected to the Exchange server or also when you're connected to the same server and you want to find out if somebody else is busy during the time that we want to do this footage review. So you can see down here, there's me, and then over for that time from 8 to 8.30, there's nothing there. It's clear. If you had some color there, then you can look down below at the legend. If it's blue, I'm busy. Maroon, out of the office, and, well, outside of working hours is the gray shade. So that's me, but what about Carrie? Now, since I didn't add her back in the appointment here in the To field, it's not going to pull her schedule up. So if I forgot to do that, you can stay in the window here and just come down below and click on Add Attendees and then find Carrie. I can come down here and say she's required to attend or optional. I'll say she's required. Click on the button and click OK. Answer updates it and you can see that she's clear for Tuesday, March the 27th. But if I pick a day just for laughs and I said, well, Saturday updates it and we get the gray here. You can see down below outside of working hours. So it won't prevent you from scheduling this with her, but it's a heads up saying, hey, she doesn't come in during these times. And even if she was busy, you can go ahead and schedule it. Again, it's not going to prevent you. It's a heads up. Don't expect her to say, oh yeah, I'm going to drop everything and come when she's already busy. Again, we covered this in an earlier training video, so I'll keep it really short. And you can go watch that other training video when it comes to scheduling meetings here and when you're connected to the Exchange server. So if you want to come down here and update the date, we did that. The times, you can change it there. You can also hover over the borders and click and drag to stretch it out. And you can see it's from 4.30 p.m. to 8 a.m. because we're going from Saturday night to Sunday morning. Oh, that's just crazy. In any case, you can move around, click in the center, and drag it over. 
as well and it stretches without you having to hover over it the timeout so now it's an hour and then you can go back to appointment and it's from 8 to 9 and it updates it here as well and because she's free at least from our scheduling assistant we can go ahead and send this off and not expect that she won't be able to attend unless something unforeseen comes up thanks for watching hey as a quick reminder if you like my video please give it a thumbs up you can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos and for great specials on my products please see the description below this video